Hey everyone, this is Professor Hall, and this is Module 1, the Grammar Module, and this is Assignment Number 3. This is an assignment that has to do with prepositions, and I won't lie, some people have problems with prepositions, that's why we're going to practice on it, and we're going to get really good at prepositions. Prepositions are words that indicate exactly where we are in the story or in the article. So look at this image with me. We can go under the bridge, over the bridge, we could go around the bridge, we could go through that tunnel back there, you see it? Okay, so that's what prepositions are. Now let's look at the assignment together. Okay, here's the assignment, and remember we're going to start by opening up a Word document, and course, name, course information, date, and we're going to always remember to double space. And this is a list of all those prepositions. Now you're going to be using these words to describe the images that I'm going to show you in a second. It's not necessary to paste the image into your Word document. The important thing is that you use at least 30 of these 49 prepositions. Okay, so here is an example that I wrote for you. Let's take a look at this. What's, what's going on here? Okay, so I've used a few of these 30 words to describe what's going on here. The people sat on the boat. The people are without safety vests in front of the boat, right up here, are satellites. You see how that goes? I'm going to use the preposition, I'm going to put that in all caps and make sure that I highlight it so that when I go through to grade your document, I'll be able to see the 30 different prepositions that you use to describe the images that are below. You're going to write a total of 30 sentences. I know this is going to take a little bit of time, but I promise you, you'll thank me for this later. So you're going to find 30 different prepositions to describe the pictures. You can use one to four prepositions per image. So you can see I used three prep prepositions to describe this picture. So the important thing is not to pick one picture and then try to write 30 sentences about that one picture, but instead find several pictures and write prepositions that describe it. Okay? Using those 30 prepositions. I'll give you one to get you started. Where is the man standing? He's standing under an umbrella. Alright, so you're going to need to spend some time on this. I realize that. And you can go the, to the discussion board and you have the option of asking friends for help, but you want to make sure you don't copy and paste anybody else's work. The software will pick up on that duplication and that will show up in my grade center. So make sure that you write your own 30 sentences. Remember, this practice is for you. It's not for anybody else. It's to help make you a fantastic and wonderful writer. So again, while this exercise is not particularly easy, it is important, or I wouldn't have put it in, in the course. Now, make sure that you look at the images that I've included on this assignment and that you compare that with the words that are in the preposition list. What words do you see in that image that you might be able to use from the preposition list? Again, be sure and write your own sentences in your own words in a complete sentence. They don't need to be long sentences, but they need to be your own sentences because we don't want to have any instances where the software picks up on somebody else's words besides your own. That concludes this tutorial on Module 1, Assignment 3, Prepositions.